Hello everyone, my name's Hollow Tide, and today we're gonna go over a topic that is kind of disappointing, saddening, but I still think that I should make it. A lot of my friends ask me all the time, you know, why are you still playing Halo? Why do you make content on Halo? You know, they see all the other videos, and I even have some people ask me on like Twitter and stuff, so. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for all the love that you guys have been showing the channel over the last month. It's been absolutely insane. I think over the last like 30 days, we've gained almost 500 subscribers and we are getting so close to that goal of 10K. So if you haven't already sub to the channel and you love Halo, throw one my way. We will also be doing a 10,000 subscriber montage for Halo. So you have that to look forward to as well. But let's get into the video. Recently, YouTube seems to be flooded with videos on content creators stepping away from Halo, whether permanently or just a break. This video, by Quick Ones is fantastic, and I understand the sentiment. If you haven't watched, you probably should. Another one by Inside Gaming, a channel with 1.3 million subscribers, uploaded a video titled Halo Infinite is still in a tailspin with this thumbnail. Oof. I've seen others compared to being in an abusive relationship, which, ugh, that's not, that's not good. It's a game, after all. Although, I do think to some, it's much, much more than that. Just typing in on YouTube the phrase quit Halo will garner tons of videos about the topic, and while some say any press is good press, this adds to the stigma that Halo Infinite is now dead in the water along with the accompanying Steam numbers, while I think Steam and the PC side has their own issues and reasons for the player drop, it is hard to argue against the fact there's been a huge, huge drop off. Now I play on PC, I don't own an Xbox, I play mouse and keyboard, I play controller, and there's things that 343 needs to look at to extend the life and get players back on that platform. And it's not just because there's not enough content in the game. But anyways, back to why I haven't quit even in the face of doom and gloom and constant social media bickering and fighting. It's simple, really, well, to me at least. I enjoy the game still. I still enjoy the old games as well. I also had a stint where I did not main or play Halo in a hardcore manner for about five years. When Halo 4 came out, I played it, but... It definitely was not my main squeeze, and kind of the same with Halo 5. And another game came out that I focused on with content creation. MCC was broken, and we all know the story behind that, so maybe I don't have that franchise fatigue or the expectations set by some that seem so incredibly high and unattainable. And you are probably sitting there saying, it's not unattainable, we just want this, this, and this, and this previous mode and features we used to have, and we want Halo to be what it was in the past. And while I do agree, that modes and features are needed, Halo in the gaming world has changed for better or for worse. I can't wait for Infinite to get more features, more maps, more modes, customization, forge, co-op, so on and so on, but I think the fact that I know these things will come in time and that I don't only force myself to play the game during these content light times has helped me stay sane. We knew season one was going to be six months and I still barreled through that battle pass and the challenges which led to a lot of fatigue. BTB was unplayable for a long time, so I took a break then as well. I got my Onyx and ranked, and instead of exposing myself to that hair pulling out of my scalp experience even more, I took a break. I know we all want to play Halo, to enjoy it, to bring back those memories of playing all night with friends. I know we've waited years and years for this, and I know I'm getting very old, and I feel those moments are more vague in my memory, but I'm also wise enough to step back and take a breather. I play in moderation. I don't have to play the game for eight hours a day. I don't even have to play the game every day. The game will be there tomorrow, next month, next year, and it will continue to evolve and grow. I am thankful for the year delay they took. I, I can't imagine what would have happened if they didn't. And I don't expect the game to get fixed overnight or even in the next season. But I'll still be playing and I'll still be creating content and genuinely just vibing with the franchise that has been a part of my life for over a decade. Now this isn't me being a blind shill to Halo or anything like that. There are mistakes, there are missteps, and there are things that 343, Microsoft, the upper management, leadership team needs to figure out and fast. But I haven't quit on Halo. I haven't given up and I'm sure people will lambast me and say I'm the problem because I give 343 too many chances. But what else am I supposed to do? Play Call of Duty? I love Halo. I always have and I always will. If you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!